Hello and welcome to Infinity. I'm going to do an edit now of this picture using my zone system macros and if you look down below you'll see where to get them. So let's start off. Um, I'm just going to use select zone initially just to review this because this lets me, I'm going to keep the 11 zone system here and it's going to go from zone number zero just, just roll the mouse wheel to go through these, but first of all, I need to turn off the bottom layer. So you are, that's zone zero, which is the black, and there's quite a lot of dark in there, isn't there? That's quite noticeable. Now then, and now as I go up, there's zone one is, is just off black. Zone two, zone three, and the color's starting to appear here around zone three. Now there's brown there, look at the brown. So brown's an interesting colour. Um, to six there, and going up. What have I got in here? Let's go down again for a moment. Okay. One of the things I'm going to focus on is the face there. That's around about the midway, isn't it? That's interesting. And as I go up here, eight, nine, it's petering out above nine, isn't it, actually? There's nothing much above that at all. OK, so I'm just going to click on here and delete that. That was just reviewing that for information. Now I'm going to use the select zone range. And this creates a layer with a, a control on it. I'm going to click on that and hit uh, control J several times. So in other words, I'm going to use that and, and address the different zones in groups. So I'm going to shift click down to here, turn off this. So I've just got this one here and turn off the bottom one as well. So what I'm going to look at here is I'm going to then double click here to open up this and I'm going to start off near the bottom. Where am I? It's a down from there from one bit more around here. Maybe that the bit there. This is where you've got a lot of the colour coming in here. Yeah, maybe that. So I'm going to bend the colour a bit here in this in this range. So I turn that off. Go to this one here. I'll turn on the back one so I can see that as well. But I'm going to add an HSL. So I go to adjustments here. Go to HSL, and I'm going to turn up the colour here so that it's more intense. But then make it darker. So you're getting dark and intense colour. But uh, in that dark range, so I'm keeping it down dark, I'm not kind of pulling it up, but it's adding it, making it a little bit richer and a little bit, you know, so it's pulling out those browns. Okay, that's the next one. What we're going to do for this one, let's just go down to the bottom end for this. Turn off the, the layers underneath so you can see. And we'll go from zero, and we'll take that down to two. See, we can do overlapping things here. I can take that up to about two. You can always check the feathering on this as well, by the way. You can harden it or soften it. It defaults to a moderate softness without you know, overblowing. Because you go too far, the whole thing just goes quite a long way. That's it. And you can play with these at any time as well. So I can tick that one or two on this one, one or two. What sort of feathering do I want on that? Because um, number one feathering will make it a lot a somewhat harder edge so i'm going to let leave it on zero okay so that's on this layer here so i'm going to put curves on that and just um make that just a little bit darker to make the darks pretty quite dark okay next one turn that one off turn this one on and uh, I'm going to go the other end. I'm going to look at the light end here. So look at this here and put it all the way to the top. I know it doesn't like stretch that way, but so we're just getting up to the lighter end of things. There we go. I'm just going to make that one lighter. So again, I'll put on the curves and just pull it up. So curves and just lighten that up a bit there. There we go. Just to give that to see the bit in practice. 
there we go just pull that up a bit there and that's okay and it's there's a bit of burn up there i think no it's actually not quite burnt because it didn't get to 11 does it look at this no so that's okay so what next oh um, i'm gonna do an interesting thing here i'm gonna go to the next one here and I'm gonna take the high end up there as well so up to 11 and from about let's see what i'm doing nine eight maybe and um, i'll put a blur on this so gaussian blur and preserve alpha and turn this up just to blur it those areas are just a little bit of blur and put the bottom on again and look at this what's the difference between this and that see that's but these are kind of building out here so let's put the uh, this make the blur soft light one so it, it's not it's not pushing things out too much you can see the original lights there what about this i can also go back to the zones uh, this one here and say do i need that up far shall i put that up a bit it's over here isn't it so i need to look at this so so nine got a little bit of blur there seven six even now about seven that's of that one um what else shall i do um i think that's probably a, about interesting it's about enough for now but i'm going to take this next layer here and um i'm actually just going to take this one turn this one on here i'm going to put a mask on this so this is to layer on top of the mask and i'm going to invert the mask Control i so uh, it turns that off but then i'm going to use a white paintbrush so paintbrush here and what's the hardness that's quite low and turn that up a little bit on just a slightly soft edge and zoom into the face there because that face is important and i'm just gonna basically start to paint over that with white to bring it back turn off the background so i can just see like see i can see this is like a torch so i'm just gonna paint over that with white just to bring that back there maybe just kind of like soften off it yes you know, take out some of these outside bits here and that'll do right and what i'm going to do with that one is sharpen it so i'm going to go to live filters go to high pass sharpening to put on a linear light monochrome and turn that up to see how that looks and there let's turn that on and off to see how that works you need to put that into drag that into that one there so i'm not sharpening the whole picture so off on maybe i can do a bit more on this so you can turn this up a bit more in fact i'll look at the whole picture here yeah that looks kind of interesting maybe i can also on that one i'll do a bit of that hsl thing as well here to kind of richen up that face so i can turn that one up there and turn this down here so it's just that face so i need to just get a bit i don't need to just come out a bit no i don't think so sometimes you just have to try things maybe a curves nope 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 it's too much difference on the edge but that stands out doesn't it that stands out really quite well there now what am i going to do um i don't think i need any more zones on this so i'll just take that top layer off i'm going to put it on a vignette um no actually i'm going to, I'm going to crop it first go to the crop tool there's not so much happening over here 
And because I've chosen that one there, I can I can decide to put that one on the thirds if you like. And so I can pull this down a little bit just to stick the eyes on the thirds of there. And you know I could put it in more, but I'll leave it there. Apply that. Now then I'm gonna put a vignette on. And for that, I'm going to go to Dave's Vignettes, which is also in the same link below, and put on a Vignette Ellipse Curve. Click on the Move, the move Tool, drag this down to get to the bottom there. If you've got snapping on, it'll help a lot. And drag this over to here. There we go. Now then, what I want is to do a curve there and I'm going to bring this down a bit more just to focus it in. I'd like to keep the King Lear in visible there and bring this kind of around to that. Maybe turn it around a little bit so it's just looking that way up and I'm going to turn on all the others so I can see everything else that I've done here. There we go. So Click on the hand. There you go. That's that's it. Maybe actually I'm going to take the crop in a little bit further. I just don't need all that stuff on the left, do I? Really? I'll just bring it down to here. No, I'm going to, I'm going to leave it out there. I'm going to leave it out there because I want to keep it like that in a good position. Apply that. And. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. So there we go. Let's do a before and after. So before with the crop on it and after. Yeah, there's darkening, we've got browning, we've treated all the zones, we've got a glow on the, those areas. And that's it. And thank you very much for watching.